It was loud. 4 a.m., woke up my whole family, my dog started howling. It was the startling wake-up call for thousands of people in Whitefish Bay. I would say it was a good 10, 12 minutes, maybe closer to 15. And it kept going on and on, and, and the dog started barking. This emergency or tornado siren blasting through the early morning quiet from its perch in Cahill Square near Whitefish Bay High School. But no one knew why. My first reaction is, what's going on? And and to add to the confusion was the fact that just eight hours after this siren mistakenly sounded was the monthly test of the siren. There it was sounding again, but this time intentionally. Emergency management officials and American Signal Corporation, the Milwaukee company that operates the sirens, tell 12 News that the morning alarm was the result of a malfunction and were working to determine the exact cause. Themselves. Meanwhile, some okay, residents were concerned that village officials hadn't given them more information. No word uh, even now as far as what the situation is. And others hoped the problem would be fixed before the siren is really needed. I'm glad that it happened when there wasn't an emergency. And it does indeed go off when we need it to in a true emergency. Ken, is it possible that someone hacked the system and set off that siren? Well, Patrick, just late this afternoon, the company, American Signal Corporation, told me that there is no indication that the system was hacked. And in fact, it was just upgraded earlier this year to guard against hacking. But they say they are still searching for the cause. And a spokesman told me earlier today that until they can find out exactly what caused that siren to sound off this morning, they can't guarantee that it won't happen again. All right, we'll see what happens, Kent. Thank you.